Hey Gypsies! Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Dollar Tree haul. So I got some goodies up in here. I think I've got four bags and I feel like they're all goodies. I mean, you know, some more than others, but it's okay. So I've got my um, 60s, my 60s dress on, earrings, my little flower headband, um, some rings, my little flowered necklace on which I think I have that on backwards, I'm not sure. Anyway, anyway, let's get started. Oh, first of all, guys, if you have not subscribed to me and my channel, please hit that subscribe button and become part of the Gypsy family once and for all, especially if you like me and my content, okay? Just go ahead and do it, just to get it done. I'm burning up right now, so, whoo, I think I'm flashing, I'm flashing, hot flash, hot flashing, okay? Let's just go. All right, guys, so I found some really cool items. Number one, this is something I've never seen. What? Oh my gosh. Lucky Charms. This is 2023 limited edition, guys. Lucky Charms Just Magic Marshmallows. Number one, the packaging. Um, yeah, that's great. It says Solo Mav. Mav. Wait a minute. I don't know. I don't know what that says. I'm just going with the flow and I don't know. Okay. Wait, I think I made a rhyme. I'm not sure, but boom, baby. They, these expire March of 2024, so I got one for one family, one for here, and you can't beat that, okay? You can't beat that. Oh, okay, calm down, girl. This is something I need today, so I'm so glad to be hauling this. Coffee filters. Sometimes when I'm running low or running out, I grab them at Dollar Tree because you get a hundred for a dollar twenty-five. Sometimes you might can get them cheaper at Walmart or something, but sometimes I'm not at Walmart and I need them. You know what I'm saying? totally and then i grabbed these bad boys right here so these are sticky note sets and we're going to open one up um i'm probably going to give one to fifi for work and i'm probably going to keep one for me for um my future office okay so here's what they look like they kind of have that marbled effect then you open them up and i like because this right here hard back okay so you open it up and you have big ones you have smaller ones smaller and then flags so this is the green one and i'm sure this is going to be the, pretty much the same thing except for purple so i think i might like the purple better because these are my, like two of my favorite colors okay like purple and like a turquoise green you know that's those two colors they're they're, ga they're great they're great um, I did grab a pack of AA batteries and a pack of AAA batteries just because we are always needing batteries for something. So, yeah, I'm just going to put those down there in my hubby's little little box. Coffee. This is for a spare, guys. I like to have these, and I used up the ones that I had because sometimes we run out of coffee and like different different people here fix coffee so sometimes we run out of coffee and i won't know and then we'll go to have some and we won't have any so it's good to have something like this just for backup because this will make like two or three pots so then you're not like oh we have to go out because sometimes you just don't want to go out you know what i'm saying you just don't want to go out so coffee this is the harry and david which this is a nice good brand name the breakfast blend i love that coffee so yeah and then I saw these, and I just got these for Ricky, just because it's time to start coloring some Christmas coloring books, which I might have already shown y'all. I can't remember. Um, but they had these right here. And I know this is probably not the best buy in the world, but these are ultra clean, washable, large crayons. You get five in here. So I'm like, here's the colors you get. I'm like, yeah, this is perfect for Ricky's hand size and stuff. So I'm going to get these, and then there's five markers from Crayola as well. So I got one of each because I am starting to get the itch to do some coloring for Christmas because coloring for Christmas is great. Um, and then I found these, which is something I've never seen. This is the Prang, and this is the fabric markers, guys. You get six in here. Let's see what colors. Does it, oh, here's the colors. So you get six in here. Let's see what these look like because I'm, not, I'm just not sure. Six praying. I don't know how to open these. How do you open this? Hold up. I'm probably making it more difficult than it needs to be. Well, well, I hate to rip it open. 
Hold up. I don't know. We're ripping it open, okay? We're just going to rip it open. I hate to, but hey. Um, so, fabric markers. Fabric markers. It says durable tips. So, here's what they look like. Pulling them out. Okay. Look at that. Look how bright pink that is. Let's take a gander at this one. So, there we have it. I'm not going to try to write or anything. I don't smell anything yet. So, I don't know like how you know, the odor is on these or anything. It just says permanent ink markers for fabric, special brush shape tip, ventilated cap, safety plug, and it says to set color, pass a hot iron. Oh, over the finished product. Like if you're doing a t-shirt, you press a hot iron over the finished product. So how cool are these for $1.25? Like we definitely need to make like some kind of, of shirts or something, you know? That would just be fun. That would just be creative, right? Okay, so there's that. Praying. And that's the colored pencils we were all getting there for a while, which I never find those, found those great big packs. Okay, guys. Let's get this back over here. Okay, so next thing I found. Oh, I'm going to keep these together with these for that specific item. Okay, number one, this little wooden sign. Because, honestly, this is my favorite saying or phrase that goes with Christmas. Believe. And not only Christmas, guys, your whole life. Believe. Believe it's possible and it's possible. Look at this. Isn't it fabulous though? I love it. Um, it could go out for Christmas, but like I said, it can go out for any time of the year. So I'm trying to see if my lipstick is all smeared. Anyway, there's that. And then I found some little towels. You guys know how I like to hang towels over my kitchen cabinets. Um, these are flower sack towels. So you could actually, if you don't want to hang these over your kitchen cabinets, these towels I actually use. Like these would be great to use for the next, you know, till the end of the year. Um, I love flower sack towels. I think they're really good to dry off dishes, to dry your hands, or just whatever you need them for. And I love the fact that they are different, different things on the front and back. Number one, we have jingle all the way isn't that cute look at the lights up there at the top and then the back is just a bunch of cool lights isn't that fabulous i love it and then we have this one here that says have yourself okay that was bad have yourself okay i'm not gonna try it today i think my allergies are acting up guys uh a magical holiday which wasn't even the song i was getting ready to sing anyway so look how cute that little picture is look at the borders Look at the back. I love it. It looks like a candy cane. Last but not least, we have this one that says, Christmas isn't a season. It's a feeling. Boom. Right down in there, right? Isn't it cute? Look at this little guy peeking up. Like, come on. How cute is that? And then there's the back. Totally adorbs. Okay, so I had to get it. And speaking of Christmas, I told you guys. Y'all might not have saw it yet. Here it is. So, this this and this when Ricky comes over, okay? And that'll give me a reason to color Christmas stuff because I'll have him over and I'll be like, you want to color? And he'll be like, yes. And so, boom, how much fun is that? I love this. This is the Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer one. They had a lot of different Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer ones. I was just flipping through and just these, these just bring back such good memories from childhood, guys like 100 percent i loved the little burl ives snowman santa himself this every picture in here is just a flashback to childhood you know it is and we still make sure that we watch this movie every single year at least one time okay at least one time so yes and then i found these right here and they were 50 cents so i'm like give me two my son's gonna be glad to see these and honestly I love candy corn, okay? This is the Zachary, which I guess they took over the Brock's candy company. That's my understanding, okay? So, 50 cents for the autumn mix. Oh, I got one autumn mix. Oh, they're both, uh, okay, wait. Is that autumn mix? They're both autumn mix, which this one looks like it has more of the pumpkins in it. And then this one looks like more candy corn, but that's just a little sliver that you can see. 50 cents, guys. 
I'll never get tired of candy corn. Once you get done eating it for the year, by the time it comes around again next year, you're ready for it. You know what I'm saying? You're ready. So there's that. And then I grabbed a couple of little blind bags, and these are just going to go in stockings this year for the three youngest okay so i got this one right here which is a jungle in my pocket and i have no idea well here's an idea it's one of these right here and this might be actually too little for ricky so i might i might just have to get another one of these although it feels pretty big honestly it does say ages four and up so i might just get another one and give one to each of the girls um and then they have these let's see this is puppy in my pocket puppy in my pocket and here's what the puppies look like K kids love stuff like this don't they and then this one is kitty in my pocket and here's what the kitties look like look how cute look at this one that's a little dylan white long hair it says how cute are they though speaking of hair okay i got me some hair coloring in there on the sink guys because i can't handle this no more okay i'm done I'm, d I'm done i'm done with this gray i can't deal okay let's dive into this right here because i want to show y'all what i found to go with this number one let me just get it all out here let me find them hold on bear with now where is it where did, here it is okay so I found these right here and these are candlesticks okay to sit like on the table now i haven't had a candlestick like this ever I don't think but this year I'm trying to do more traditional and primitive type of Christmas decor so I'm thinking some kind of flower arrangement which I'll probably get the stuff from Dollar Tree to do at the kitchen table and then on each side of that we could do these candles and I got different candles because I'm gonna be burning them I'm just not gonna set them there life it's too short just to set your candles there without burning them, okay? What are you saving them for? Burn them all Christmas season. What are you saving them for? Christmas Day? You can't burn them all on Christmas Day. Burn them all season. That's what I'm going to do. So I got these, one for each side, and these are really cute candlesticks too. And then I got one set of red candles, and it says these are taper candles, two pieces, unscented, so I'm just hoping like if the candle wax does run down that this will catch it. I don't know. I really don't know if the candle wax will run down or not. But I got those red ones. And then I got these kind of, they're not white, but they're more of like a cream color. They look more elegant than like a solid white, I think. So these just say candle, bougie. <laughs> bougie. How's, how's, I don't, never mind. I, that's a whole different, what's the word? rabbit hole right okay so two of these and then check these out check these out so we're gonna open one and see so these are the LED taper candles guys so these are gonna be cool uh oh let me just let me just say requires two AAA batteries boom I got I got just enough right here let's check this out let's put the batteries in I want to see how cute this looks and if they fit in the candle holder because I'm like what if they don't fit in the candle holder? And I'm like, girl, you, you've got some wisdom to you. Surely you can make them fit in the candle holder, right? I mean, even if you're cramming down a piece of aluminum foil up in there, right? So here's what it looks like. Cute. I think it's going to look like they're flickering because usually those do. So we're going to take off the bottom. And we're going to drop in two of these AAA batteries. So I'm excited to see how these look because I love this kind. And I'm going to save those other batteries for my other one. Okay, so let me look at the end of this. Okay, so I think it's going to go like this and like this. Let's see if this is... Oh, it's correct. Look. And it does look like it's flickering. Isn't it great? Okay, the test of all tests. Girl 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 okay don't think i can't fix it because i can but <laughs> this is what i was afraid of okay this is what i was afraid of okay that's okay i can put some aluminum foil down in there some clay i don't know i can put play down i don't know i can put something down in there but yeah 
So, yeah, I was really hoping that it would do better than that, but that's okay. I'm witty. I can fix it. I don't think witty is the right word, but hey. Okay, so there's that, and then here's my batteries for my other one. I'm going to keep them together or I'll never find them again. You know what I'm saying? Okay, guys, so let's see what else I found. I saw these, and I'm like... I don't feel like I've ever seen these before. This is the Diamond brand. And this is 20 disposable snack cups with lids. 5.5 ounces each. And here's the lids. Here's the size of the snack cups. So they're good size snack cups. So Jack has been wanting to take some lunch. And also these are good if you're going like on a car ride or something. And just to put some snacks in sorry if i spit on you guys just to put some snacks in for the kids to snack in on or to snack on the way preferably not these if you want to retain your sanity you know what i'm saying totally okay next i found some adorable lights okay these are the christmas um solar steak lights guys so i love getting these every year they just they just add a little something special to the sidewalk. You know what I'm saying? So we have this one here, which is your little reindeer. It's not a Rudolph, but it's still a reindeer, and it's adorable. Always make sure your little black piece is in there. Then we have this one here, which is our Santa. On the back of the head is where the little solar thing is. So we have Santa Claus. Next, we have the cute little adorable elf. Now, only saw boy elves, no girl elves, so... Dollar Tree, you forgot somebody. Um, so how cute is he though? Totally. And then boom, we have a Christmas tree, which I'm loving. You could even take some nail polish and paint on little ornaments if you wanted to, right? So there's the back. Just super cute. Just, just super cute stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then for just some home decor pieces here. Am I, am I all uneven and stuff? That gray hair's getting to me, guys. Oh, ugh. Okay, boom, look at these, look at these. I love setting stuff like this. This one says live, this one says love. These are the only two that I saw. Live, love, what's the other term? I don't know, but live, love, I don't know. Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so this one's white and I love the little beads in between. I just think that's really cute. And then this one's just the natural wood color, which I like as well. So I just think these are really cute to set in front of books on a bookshelf, sit on your kitchen cabinets, on your end tables. With, with decor for your home this cheap, you can afford to switch things around a lot, you know? Like, you can get a few things to put out a month, you know, get sick of them, donate or put them up, you know, whatever you want to do, give them away, you know, give them to your friends, be like, you want those, take them, um, and then there's always new stuff that you can find to put out, and there's usually always a holiday going on at the same time, you know, so there's that. Um, I saw this, and I'm like, what is this? So, I don't think this is that one thing that I got a, a while back. This just says it's a magical crystal ball. Let me look at it. If it's the same thing, I'm going to be like, it's not. It's not the same thing. Okay, so basically, oh, it looks really cool. It's. It looks like it's going to take batteries. Dang it. Okay, of course. Dollar Tree. So, here's what it looks like. Okay, here's what it looks like. It's a magical crystal ball. Maybe I'll do a short on this once I get it up and running. Um, it is going to take probably the batteries I just bought. Um, it says, reveal your fate. So it says, touch the base of the magic crystal ball. And there's actually a little secret point right there you're supposed to touch. Um, to reveal an answer to help guide you on your path to finding happiness. Is it this simple? Has it been this simple all along, guys? Like, all we had to do was have this, and we'd all be happy? Touch activated light, glowing aura, and sound. You better believe, I don't know if this was left over from Halloween. I mean, it kind of looks like it, but I never saw them during Halloween. So, you better believe that there's a shortcoming for this, okay? Because I want to see how it looks. Um, it does take three triple A's. Oh, okay, three triple A's, which I may just use some right here, you know, and let me pause this. Okay, guys, I was going to do it, but then I remembered you have to have a little tiny screwdriver. 
So I don't know where one's at. Um, well, I do know where one's at, but I don't want to go through all that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so anyway, watch for a short on these. I like to put out a lot of shorts. I know some people get irritated with the shorts, um, but I just basically do them because not everybody has time to sit through a 20 to 30 minute video showing you guys stuff, okay? So I like to make little shorts, like if somebody has five minutes, you know, they could watch a couple shorts and, you know, just have fun with it, right? So there's that, okay? And then I found these. I only found one pack of these, so I thought I'd grab them. It is an eight pack, I think is what this said. Oh, an eight pack of Rice Krispie Treats. And it does have a heart. So I didn't think to look at the best buy date, which I don't feel like I'm seeing one. But it does have a heart like it could have been for Valentine's Day. So I don't know. Okay, I'm not sure, but I got them because I guarantee they'll get eight. They'll get eight, okay? They'll get eight. And then for my hubby's cats at work, you guys saw me haul one of these a while back for his cat. I ended up, or well, not his cat, the work cat, which is the king of the office, I do believe. But um, I ended up giving the ones I bought to Fifi because she got those two cats, which she's loving. Um, but I got these for his work cat. And then I got these for Fifi because... I don't know if you guys have saw on Instagram, there's like these memes and there's this one cat crunching like really loud with these little sharp teeth. Let me know if you guys have seen that meme. Um, and I just had to get this because I'm like, I want to see a picture of her cat crunching like that cat. You know, I mean, it's just, so I grabbed them. I grabbed those for her. Okay, next for baby Sophie, just so she has a lot of things over here that she don't get sick and tired of holding and playing with, I found this little Elmo teether. It's a teether toy, and it's cute. And then I found this little bear teether toy. So I grabbed one of each. And then, oh, check these out. I think I just got one of these. Um, did, oh, no, I got two, guys. Look at this. This is Sprite Lemon Lime Flavored Tic Tacs, okay? Sprite flavored. Let's try this. I've never had a Sprite flavor. I just heard somebody knock. I don't want an answer. So, these are good. It was a UPS truck. I hear him leaving, so that's probably a package. Anyway, yes, these are good. Although, I can't finish out my video while I have a tic-tac in my mouth. I might spit it out, hit the camera, be totally embarrassed. You know, it happens. Okay, guys, I found three new lipsticks. These are from Beauty Intuition. My friend that lives close by me, because she works close by me, told me that they have new makeup at my Beckley Dollar Tree, and I'm like, oh, yes. So I went over. This is what I found. These three different lipsticks, guys. So these are lip glosses, it says. Um, this one is the color Hot Pink. Hot Pink. Mocha. And Red Velvet. Look how pretty these are. I love that mocha. Let's give it a whirl. Let's open it up and give it a whirl. Okay, glosses are usually not too dark, so I'm sweating. Okay, oh, I love these. Contain look at this. These are cool. These are really different. All right, let's see what they look like. Might as well put it on, right? Since my lipstick's wearing off anyway. Oh. Mm. It tastes like mocha. What? The color is not bad. Uh. I don't know. It seems a little splotchy, but I'm not sure. I think the color is spot on, though. I like it. I like tasting mocha. So I wonder what the other ones are going to taste like. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out and then i got i found these right here <coughs> number one 
just this just for like some decor i'm actually thinking i'm going to give this one to fifi or josh and hallie because they have this cute little bar thing where the kids eat this would be really cute on there so i might give this to them i'll have to see and then i found these i just got one <clears throat> And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I had to get it to show you guys, number one, because this is super cute. Um, it's just the little Closet Essentials Heavyweight Collapsible Storage Center. Do you see that? How Christmassy and cute is this? Like, what would you guys use this for? Like, in regards to Christmas decor, what would y'all use it for? Would you just replace one of the ones you're using? Like, for some of these, just to add to the Christmas festiviness. Wait, festivityness. I don't know if that's a word, but if it's not, we shall make it one. Okay, so there's that. And last but not least, well, number one, I got these thank you notes because I love these. It says, with a thankful heart in the gold foil, and then it has the hearts. You only get six. These are Hallmark, though. You only get six, but I think these are really, really pretty. And then my hubby's infamous gum. Let me just say, they did not have no glue, no cherry, no orange dreamsicle. So I told him, I said, you're going to have to have these. It's the double bubble. This is the kind you put in like the little gumball machines. Um, but double bubble gumballs. I got three of these because he is a gumaholic. Let me just say. Okay, so three bags of those. All right, guys. That is it. That is my Dollar Tree haul. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget, let me know what your very favorite item was. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Don't forget there's going to be a Thanksgiving giveaway coming up very soon. And I have it from a good source that Cravey Wavy wants to be part of this. So if you don't know Cravey Wavy, stay tuned. Um, and that's it, guys. So have a great rest of your day. Bye!